Hello everyone, it's Bram Badaham and welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Age Origins Part 38. In the last episode we met Jowen here in the basement of Redcliffe Castle. He is locked up in here because he poisoned Arl Eamon and he says that he is responsible for that though not for the darkspawn invasions at night. Um, and we are now entering the castle after a big big battle. So let's see what we find over here. Okay, quickly remap this. Okay, now Morgan. Hurry. Can you do? Your cone of cold. Weapons at the red. And then I'll do it. Nice. That's what we like to see. Two shadows at once. Three shadows. Look at this. Brilliant. Armed and dangerous. I am your Brilliant boys, a girl. Okay, now let's see. In here, there are some shades, or what look like shades. So let's try to do this. Let's get started. And then go in. Um. Okay. We have almost only lesser shades and one greater shade. It's all right. Let's get started. How many can we get with this three? Ooh, an Alistair as well. Oh well. Shattered. Shit. That wasn't too good actually. This greater shade. Now let's see. Can we uh I shall do it? Okay, that was right. The book, History of the Chantry. Uh, now let's see on the map where we are actually, because we came in there. Okay. Then there should be a little room over here to the left. But that's locked. And we don't have Zevran with us. Another book? No? No codex? Alright. Useless room. Oh, we should bucket. Uh, actually. Everyone. Hold their grounds. Maybe we can. Cliff of Repulsion. I don't know if this works, but if it does, it's kind of funny. Then can attack that guy as well. Morgan doesn't even doesn't really have any. It's 
someone leveled up. Nice, we shared it one. Oh, that hit Alistair as well. That was bad. Hopefully Stan isn't killed by this hit. Wow. What was strike, Stan? Save yourself. Can we heal him already? And that's the end of Stan. Oh well. Let's make it a quick And stay down. As you wish. See the devouring corpse. He has only a novice frost room. Slightly disappointing. Health poultices always handy. Yeah, Stan, man, you can really do with uh, some more constitution. Take a lesser injury kit. Alrighty, and they leveled up. So let's see. Stan can do with constitution, and what else? Why don't we have these specializations yet? Seems like it deleted my old save game. Or save games. Um, let's see, this requires 34 strength. Stunning blows is kind of helpful. Shattering blows against golems. So this is not really helpful yet. Let's go for stunning blows and then some one point into strength, two into constitution. Already. Because I think disengage, yeah, it makes him less threatening. That's not good because he has to be our tank. Perfect striking. Mwah. Stunning blows. Alright, that's 10. And Alistair, you need some more strength, don't you? That's what I thought. The clean area is really cool. Okay, let's give him shield tactics for now, because shield mastery is really cool to have. This requires 26 dexterity. Uh, and this point is alright. Okay, and... Shield tactics. Play! Alright. Then, let's have a look. These... Lottery and plate. Stan, can you wear that already? No. What's your strength? 31. Alright. But Alistair... You have a tome of physical technique, though it's only one. Shall we use that right now? Can you already get this? No, no, it's all level 12. This is 32 strength. 
Never mind then. Already. Let's go. Do you have any abilities that you need to replace? No, not really. What's this? Holy shit bucket. Nice. So, Alistair tries to shatter one. Stan tries to shatter another. Another being this one. With a mighty blow. And we try to shatter the one in the back. With this. That's one. That's two. Already. Morrigan does a vulnerability hex on that one. Time for some fun. Holy shit. Ah, Morrigan. My god. Imp improved drain. We got that already? Nice. I didn't know that. So quite unintended, that was another spell combination. Really cool. This should be easy enough. Back leather corner. Right. Chart quartz. Who is picking deep mushrooms from a chart corpse? Okay. Some things for Logain. Now, let's check that codex that we got. Uh, books and songs first. History of the Chantry Part 2. You can pause the video here and read it. Okay, that's one. But now for the spell combination. That was interesting. I didn't know that. So we already have Shattering and Paralysis Explosion. And this is Improved Drain. The victim of a vulnerability hex must be wary of the... Not only of the damage of the elements, but also spellcasters who wish to sap life or mana to restore their own bodies. The spells Drain Life and Mana Drain were twice as effective in those circumstances. So because we casted a Vulnerability Hex on that Mabari to uh, do some more freezing damage, Morrigan uh, after that did Drain Life to because she was close to dying and restored twice as much health. Now let's proceed with care because I think there are some traps around here let's get started sure take that sure why not ah oh, Jesus <laughs> of course Hurry. why are we down for so long Iron ring. Nah, let's not do that. Okay. Uh, let's go to the back here first because we need to go to this door eventually. Hello? Hello? Oh. This should armoire. be easy enough. Mushroom in the armor, of course. And here is an interesting someone. On it. Hello, Valena. So. Uh, this is actually the daughter of the blacksmith, and we were we promised him that we'd look for her. <laughs> Please don't hurt me. It's kind of a late reaction. Come down, I'm not going to hurt you. I, I'm sorry. I'm so frightened. These monsters are everywhere. My, my name's Valena, the Arlesa's maid. I, is she, all right? What happened to everyone? Valena. Is that the smith's daughter? You know my father. I want to go back to the village. Is there a way out?
out of here. There sure is. There is a tunnel leading out in the dungeon. But, but the monsters! They are dead. Let's see. I've killed most of them. It's safe. I'll find my way. I can run fast and I know the castle. Thank you. You're welcome. Alistair actually approved. That's cool. Okay, now to continue here. Uh, let's see, where does the map... What's this? That's into the basement again. That's in the cellar, okay. Courtyard. Second floor. Let's go here first. Living wretch. Holy shit bucket. Yeah, let's uh, let's just go in. Alrighty then. Alistair, what are you doing, mate? So, let's try to do some shattering first. Nice. Let's see if you can shatter with a pommel strike. Probably not. No. Then this maybe? Sunder arms? No. Alright, well that's fine. We will protect Sten. Okay, Morgan, can you cast some uh, hexes? Alrighty, so the assault last night in the uh, village was really really hard. The undead really had a huge amount of health. Right. I'm trying to look for the correct word. Huge amount of health. Um, and that was really hard, but this doesn't seem to be as hard as of yet. Let's see what we find in the cellar. I thought this... Let's see the it. courtyard as well, but I'm not really sure. Pile of as junk. You wish. Yeah, sure. <laughs> oh, updated codex. Okay, you can pause the video here and read it. Looting through the wall. Yeah, so this does lead to the courtyard. Now let's see. Okay, so we are going back then, exploring a bit more of the castle, because as you wish, coming events will uh, will rob us from the opportunity to do that later. It's basically now the castle is full of dark spawn and stuff, and it is some. <laughs> okay, never mind. You have to go through here. Okay. So the castle is now full of dark spawn, and you have the opportunity to get some extra XP. Um, the loot isn't really as important, I think, but this should be easy enough. You really should take every opportunity to um, to gain some XP, I think, because uh, ooh, otherwise the leveling goes so slow, and you will have problems uh, later on. Okay. Now, let's see. There is a revenant over there. A really, really strong enemy. Let's see if I can do this. Without As triggering them. No, we cannot. Okay, so this is Tempest. Done. Now for the... 
glyph of paralysis and for the glyph of repulsion Uh. What? Holy shit, what happened there? Oh my shit, bucket. Okay. So, let's see. Alistair. Uh. Alistair, get, it. get rid of that archer and. I stand as well with this one. And Morgan will cast on the Revenant. A. Both of the hexes. And then a winter's grass. Should we have to get. Oh, we are still in the area effect of the tempest. Already. Then knock him down, please. Hit him as hard as you can. Alistair as well. Overpower him and I will cast a come on. I will cast a glyph of warding. Sten, can you use taunt please? You cannot? What? Knock him down! He resisted. Brilliant. Nice. I see attacking Morgan all the time. <laughs> Group heal. And do it now. Oh, that was just in time. Now for these guys. Wow. Okay, good. Only 31 silver. That's freaking pathetic. On it. That revenant, we kept him in place quite well now. He is so strong. Okay, so I wonder is this the entrance to the main hall? Main floor, okay. I don't think the cutscene will quite yet begin. Or will it? Over there. Let's see, will it? Yes, it will. So, there we have Ben Tegan. And Connor and Lady Isold. And before we go in there, I want to cut off the video here. Thank you so much for watching this episode where we uh, made our way through Redcliffe Castle and cleared out more... Uh, revenants, skeletons, undead and more of those nasty creatures thank you so much for watching stay tuned for the next episode to be uploaded soon thanks for watching guys